हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू स्टडी क्लासेस तो एक बार फिर से आपका स्वागत है हमारी इंटरव्यू टॉपर सीरीज में एंड टुडे वी हैव अनदर टॉपर यूजीसी नेट मैनेजमेंट दिसंबर 2023 एग्जामिनेशन के अंदर मिस्टर uh, भारद्वाज ने इस इस एग्जामिनेशन में एक बहुत ही अमेजिंग स्कोर के साथ ही मैनेज टू अचीव हिस्स गोल ऑफ जी एंड वन मार्क्स इज इज स्कोर एज ई जस्ट टोल्ड मी तो बहुत ही अमेजिंग स्कोर के साथ मैनेज टू क्लियर इट सो फर्स्ट लेटर Congratulate, Mr. Bhardwaj. So many, many congratulations. It's a very amazing score. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, did you expect this kind of a score when you like were in the examination hall, or you came after appearing in the examination? Sir, actually, the paper appeared a little bit uh, easy to me, but I didn't expect it would go to that extent. Like uh, I expected above one sixty, like that. Uh, okay. Like that I expected. Okay, okay. You did not expect like such a big number in score. So, Mr. Bhardwaj, so when did you decide to appear for this examination? Was it along with your post graduation, or like afterwards you decided to go for this examination? After pro post graduation, I decided to uh, this pursue this UGC net examination, sir. Okay, okay. And, uh, so mm, after my you were also post doing... graduation. Mm, okay. Mm. After post graduation, you decided to go for this examination, and you were also doing a job. And with job, no, was it easy to manage this preparation? No, sir. I find it difficult. Okay. So, so that's you... why I discontinued my job and uh, devoted fully to this uh, preparation itself. Okay. Okay. So, wa mm -hmm. was it an easy decision? Like many people, they are doing jobs, and they have to make this decision whether to leave the job and like solely prepare for this examination. So, was it an easy decision for you? What were the things going in your mind when you decided to like uh, take that dec decision? Hello. Mm. Yes, you are audible. You can continue. Oh, sir, I faced uh, means my family members didn't increase that thought, but uh, to pursue this idea and my goal, uh, I discontinued this uh, job and uh, okay. devoted myself to. Yeah. Okay, okay. So with jobs, you were no, not able to fully devote yourself to this preparation. So after you left mm. the job, like how many hours did did you manage to take out on daily basis? What were your daily schedule? It's like how did you strategize your preparation? What kind of things you included in your preparation? So tell us all about that. Sir, at first I don't know anything, sir. Like I used to purchase uh, UGC net uh, books will be there, no, sir. Like uh, mm -hmm. paper one and uh, management books I purchased and uh, read mm -hmm. them. But uh, mm -hmm. I didn't find them much helpful. Uh, so I asked my friend who is preparing for this examination. Uh, so he suggest me, suggested me this ever study course. So then uh, we used, it, then I bought, I purchased this ever study course and uh, listened to the lectures. But it's uh, too late, like only two months are there for my preparation. Hardly two or one month is there for my preparation. So I couldn't cover most of the portion. So. Uh, in that at that time, I solely focused on accounts and uh, financial management uh, from Papa Two and Papa One. Uh, like, what will be the mo most scoring? I I selected those topics and read. So, okay. uh, but I couldn't give my full uh, in my first attempt. Okay, okay, okay. So, how important do you feel our previous year questions? Did you refer the previous year questions in your preparation? Ah oh, yes, sir. In my second attempt, I referred to the previous questions, mock tests, all those. Okay. But in okay. my first so attempt, was... I couldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So in second attempt, what did you feel like? What was the main deciding factor? What was the main thing that you did that you were able to crack this examination? Because many people they might be making this mistake that you did in the first attempt. So, what do you want to tell them? So in my second attempt, I. Understood, sir. Um, like it is important to manage time. Like uh, uh, for all uh, subjects, it is not necessary uh, to depend on video lectures. Like uh, your notes is awesome. Like we can study and understand it. Some of the some of the subjects which were easy, we can study and understand it. And for very difficult ones, I I choose to mind maps. Okay. Stick on to mind maps and uh, most basic my, which are important. I used to listen to those lectures and make notes. Okay. Okay. So that's how I manage my time. Okay. So you have to identify what are your priorities, what are your weak areas, 
and what do you want mm. to like uh, do, devote your in which subject do you want to devote your time more so that dip, i think mm. that's going to be a personal decision everyone has to make this decision on their own okay so mr mm. bhatwaj like you were telling me you devoted time to pre, uh, previous year questions and practice as well so like was there any specific time slot that you left at the end that you are going to like do one month's practice only at the end or like 15 days are going to be only for the mocks at the end so was it something like that actually in a week i used to study six days sir for okay. uh, one day will be there no sunday uh, i okay. used to discuss with my friend uh, we okay. used to discuss this previous year questions and i used to refer his notes and my notes so like that it went okay okay sunday was your mcq day sunday was your practice day so mm -hmm. I, that, that's very good to hear and you had a friend so it sometimes gets very easy like you can easily discuss with your friends and like friends should be helping as well like we have seen many friends they don't like bother as much uh, but like it's really glad to hear ki you and your friend you decided to prepare together and mr bhadwaj you have achieved this goal and now what is going to be your future goal like what is going to be your future direction actually i didn't think much sir uh, but from my childhood onwards my dream is to uh, complete phd so okay. uh, that's how i came into this uh, uh, net exam okay okay so you will be so going from for here on i need to plan uh, okay, okay 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 now now that time for the next uh, like goal <laughs> okay and mr bhadwa just a final words like many people are preparing for this examination and they will be totally amazed to hear from you like how you managed to just ace this examination in a few months preparation and you were very choosy very selective so what is going to be your like final words of wisdom for the upcoming future aspirants uh, sir for me uh, instead of quantity quality matters like uh, consistent if we put a consistent efforts uh, like uh, we can uh, crack this exam with ease like a drop okay. by drop we need to uh, complete our syllabus drop by drop no we have no need for hurry hurry okay okay so quality consistency time management is the mantra according to mr bhardwaj as he has just told me so it was like a very good experience talking to him i hope many students would have learned something learned something new learned some new tips strategies from him so many many thank you ji uh, many many thank you for taking out your precious time and now he is just telling me he was out he is like uh, out to his relatives place for the pongal celebration and he still managed to take time out so we are very grateful to you mr bhardwaj thank you so much for taking out time thank you sir oh okay so this was our session with mr bhardwaj i hope it was beneficial for the future aspirants we'll meet again in a new session with a new topper till then goodbye take care all